Hi folks, Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com on Wednesday, September 7th. We're continuing our analysis of various uh, food products that we've obtained. Uh, this one is uh, sake, made in Japan. And uh, we're going to pour a little into our testing dish where eventually that filter will end up. And then uh, we're going to pour some directly into that filter. Uh, not a lot of sake. Uh, so what we've done, and sake it doesn't have a head like beer, so uh, I've actually put a couple more coffee filters there in our high-tech lab trying to filter the liquid to get any uh, indication of uh, uh, excess radiation or any radiation at all uh, in the liquid uh, because water interferes with detecting radiation. So I'm going to pour it first into... I got some in that uh, dish, which is not um, radioactive. I'm going to make sure that I didn't get any on the lip of this, because I did, just a touch. Don't want to get it on the detector. So I'm going to take, uh, take a read on this. Sake, made in Japan, and we know that the the uh, average in here, just recently taken, was 37.3 counts per uh, minute. So we're going to fire up the inspector. Hundred percent calibrated, and. Down we go. Kind of like let it find its legs. Okay. Radiation doesn't come in a homogeneous stream if there's any here at all. The reason we uh, have a, an extensive data set for background radiation in here is in part to be able to do uh, impromptu informal uh, analyses like this where we actually know what the naturally occurring radiation is in here in radiation station. And if we get any kind of indication like this, you know, on something that uh, we have no idea then we make a judgment and figure should we do a 10 minute average on it and you can see here it's dropping right back down it's a very small amount so I think I'm going to do this I am put it right there And I think it bears a 10 minute test. So we will get the timer going. There it is, 10 minutes. And the inspectors lifted off of that dish. We just don't want the uh, any part of this machine ever to come into contact with any form of goo. Not the best way to test for radiation. Just taking a little bit of something. However, your government right now is taking nothing of everything in the consumer stream it seems by what we have found so while we're doing that 
I'm going to just pour the rest of that sake in there. filtered out. Now mind you, that's just four coffee filters. However, if we detect any excess radiation, then uh, it's there it is. It's excess radiation. And the whole reason we're doing this is because of the Fukushima Daiichi triple meltdown, melt-throughs, and melt-outs that have been ongoing in Japan since March 11th. It's certainly our hope to find nothing in these products. And the reason we're testing them is because they're available in Southern California.
Okay, so now we have the um, the final tally on this socket, and it's 456. We're going to minus the background, 373. Give me a moment, please. And that's 22.3% above background. So there's something in that uh, sake that uh, apparently is causing these readings because we just took the background in here and uh, we know what we're doing and uh, you saw us pour it into that little container and it means that this particular sake from Japan is 22.3 percent over the background here at Radiation Station. So we're going to take that as an opportunity to test that filter to the right that we poured the beer through in the last video and we're going to test that in the next video.